Okay, so we went through a lot of information. What did we learn? So first of all, we learned about Active Directory and all the systems and user accounts that are managed within that. We know now that it's super important for a Windows environment because it's what controls everything from the user authentication to the permissions that each account has. And we have a better understanding now on why when attackers break into a Windows environment, they're sprinting towards these domain controllers because of all the good information that's stored on there. They will have access to all the user accounts, all of the passwords. We also learned about common network setups. And this is particularly important because when we overlay Active Directory on top of that, we can begin visualizing how these attacks happen. And so the biggest outcome that we want from this is that when we start talking more about different types of attacks like ransomware or business email compromise or just a malware infection, and we start talking about how the attacker broke in and how they moved from system to system, we can start creating this map of activity in our minds. And that is what gets us into more of this graph mentality. It's no longer just a series of words of attacker logged into this system, attacker then moved and dumped credentials, attacker then installed malware on the system. We can start visualizing this in our mind and piecing all of this together. And when you can start thinking of security in that aspect, you are in such a better place to really start understanding how different controls can come into place because you can visualize more easily how it's a layered approach. So this is where it's one of the most important things in my mind to learn as you're starting your security journey because it really sets you up for success on how all these different things connect together and it's less about memorizing words it's more about visualizing how all these things operate together.